Synthesis is an audio production tool that allows users to interact with synthesizers in a more natural way. Instead of communicating desired sounds to synthesis software using knobs and sliders that control difficult to understand synthesis parameters, users can communicate sound ideas using examples, like existing recordings or vocal limitations. They then listen to and rate the machine's suggestions to give feedback during an interactive search process. This natural approach is more similar to how one might communicate sound ideas to another human. Let's see a demonstration example using a synthesizer database with 10,000 randomly generated sounds. To make a sound like this, first give an initial example such as a vocal limitation of the target sound. This example needs to have some, but not all of the characteristics of our target. The gray circular hub in the center of the ratings wheel represents our target. Examples appear as spokes radiating out of this target hub. Rate how similar an example is to the target by moving it closer to or further away from the target. In response to a query, Synthesis returns two sets of results. The set of top results displayed in the right-hand column are close along all the dimensions we are interested in. The set of results the system wants you to rate, however, are a diverse set in which each result is closest along possibly only one dimension. This set of results is displayed as spokes on the ratings wheel. Listen to each result. If the result is irrelevant, double-click it to remove it. Rate the similarity of relevant results to the target. If there's a top result that is similar to the target, you can also drag it to the ratings wheel and rate it. Synthesis will then refine its estimate of the target sound and search again. Repeat this process until the target sound is found. Once the target sound is found, you can play and edit it with the traditional interface if desired. I'm now going to briefly explain how Synthesis works. After an input example is given, time series of audio features are extracted, creating an initial query to the database. This query is compared to each of the 10,000 sounds in the database using dynamic time warping. A diverse set of results is returned. If the desired sound is in the set of results, the user informs the system, the synthesis parameters are returned, and the user can play their desired synth sound. If the desired sound is not in the set of results, the user marks their irrelevant results and rates the relevance of the remaining results. The system then uses this information both to refine the distance measure, awaiting important features, and to refine the query using a technique called prioritized shape averaging. Using the refined query and distance measure, the database is queried again, and the cycle repeats until the user finds a desired sound. <laughs>